Hi, this is Fraser from FF Art Studio. Welcome back friends to my channel. Today we will be creating a cartoon style eye using an easy method. So let's get started. In the first step, we'll take a sphere 3D from the tool menu to create the eyeball. Then hit the edit button. As you can see, this is already a poly mesh 3D. Next, we'll turn on the wireframe and rotate it by 90 degrees so that its pole faces the front. Let's divide it a few times to get more polygons to work with smoothly. Once the eyeball's done, into the second part, we'll create a cavity for the iris. For that, we'll first duplicate the same sphere. Now to the most important part, we'll be using Live Boolean to create the cavities in the eye. So turn on the Live Boolean button. Now position and scale the second sphere. We can turn on the transparent mode to see better. Now with the Live Boolean turned on, it's time for the magic. Just hit this A-B icon on the subtool. And boom, the cavity is created. Basically, the part of the second sphere, which was intersecting with the eyeball, got subtracted from it by using this A minus B Boolean function. Moving on to the third step, let's create the cavity for the pupil for this we will follow the same process. Duplicate the sphere and with the live Boolean on, adjust its size and position to get the desired cavity. Now turn on the same Boolean icon on the subtool. And boom, we have the cavity for the pupil. Now let's do the final tweaking. Yep, this looks good. So with this, we are done with the first task of creating the basic shape for the eye. Let's now make it look like an eye with some materials and colors to it. For this, we'll need the color menu. So we'll select it from the menu bar and drag it, holding the wheel icon and dock it to the side panel. Now for changing the material and applying the colors, turn off the Z add button and turn on the MRGB button. Now with the eyeball selected, click on the materials tab and select the toy plastic material from the materials panel. With the color selected as white in the color swatches, go to the color panel and hit the fill object button. This will lock the material and color to the geometry. Next, we'll select the mesh used for creating the iris and change its color from the color swatches. A light bluish shade will look nice. Yep, this looks good. Let's lock it to this portion by hitting the fill object button. Last but not the least, coming to the pupil, we'll select its mesh and change its material to basic material. That's because we don't want it to have any kind of specular or shine. Then apply black color to it and hit the fill object button. Now coming to the final step of modeling the eye by this method. We need to get a single mesh for the eye. For that, we'll scroll down the subtool panel and go to the Boolean option. Under this, we'll find the Make Boolean Mesh button. Just click on it, and boom. We now have a separate subtool for the eye. And friend, if you are still watching, it means you like the video, so don't hesitate to like it. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit the subscribe button. You go ahead and just do it. What are you waiting for? One more thing, we also have some awesome collection of relaxing and work music playlists I'm sure you will love. Nevertheless, if you have any queries or want me to create a video on any topic of your choice, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks friend for staying till the end. I hope you have learned a few things through this tutorial. Goodbye and stay safe.